Her favorite nursery rhyme is Patty Cake, Patty Cake, Baker's Man. Man. <laughs> she gets really excited over that particular one. I don't pie, know why. Pie, pie, cake, go <laughs> Geekers man, she says. I don't know if y'all heard that. Hi, guys. <laughs> hey, Mountain Family. How's it going? So today we are doing all about Carly. She's three years old now, so this is like her three-year-old update. And I'm basically doing this the same way that I do Andy's monthly updates, except Carly's three. So uh, we're going to get right into this. Okay, stats first. Carly is 36 inches tall. We measured her today, so that makes her exactly three feet tall. And the last time that she was weighed was at the hospital. I'll get into that later on. And she weighed 28.1 pounds. So she's gained... If my memory serves me correctly, she weighed, I think, 23, 24 pounds at two years old. So she's gained like four or five pounds in the year. And last year at two years old, she was 33 inches tall. So she has gained three inches in height. As far as milestones and things that she can do and that kind of thing, um, Carly can count to 10. She doesn't really know colors yet. She knows some colors like green, I think. Do you know green? I agree. You know green? Yeah. Uh, I think she knows green pretty solidly, but I think that's the only color that she does know pretty well. Uh, all the other colors are kind of... <laughs> we're getting there. Um, shapes, she knows pretty well. She knows most of her shapes. She knows circle and triangle. She can't really say triangle, but <laughs> she tries. So shapes, she knows... One, two, three, eight, nine. <laughs> Three, eight, nine. Okay, normally I swear she does it <laughs> in cue. She normally misses one, so I have to start her off, and she normally misses ten. But normally she can get all the way through one to ten just fine, except, of course, when I need her to on video. <laughs> then she totally screws it up. But usually she can do it, I swear. So Birth to Three just had her closing meeting. And during the closing meeting, everybody said that she's basically on track with the rest of the three-year-olds. The only thing that Carly is behind on in all areas is speech. She doesn't really talk like most three-year-olds. She's a little bit behind, but <laughs> but she's, uh, she's going to catch up. She's going to get there. She's just not um, where she needs to be speech-wise. As far as Carly's favorites, her favorite things and stuff like that. This is one of them. She's holding it. She just got this yesterday and it's already her favorite doll. It, go it goes everywhere. She's kind of attached to it. It's her first ever Barbie doll. She's never had one before this one and it's a mermaid because Carly is obsessed with anything and everything to do with the ocean. Fish. I know mermaids aren't like real but you know what I mean, like swimming, fish, you, you get it. She's obsessed. Other favorites of Carly's that I could think off the top of my head, anything junk food related. This is like obvious. I mean, if you put carrots or candy in front of a child, more likely than not, they're going to pick the candy. <laughs> so, uh, it's a mermaid. So Carly likes um, any kind of chips, Chocolate, ice cream, you got it. Uh, as far as vegetables, fruit, good stuff for you, she will eat pretty much any fruit you put in front of her. Any. And I'm trying to think of vegetables that she actually likes. Cucumbers. She likes cucumbers. Um, she's just not a big vegetable person. And I feel bad. I really do. I just don't know how to get her to like vegetables. I'm trying so hard. As y'all know, if you are subscribed to my channel and have been for a while, y'all know I'm vegan. And, of course, the girls get vegan meals and they get non-vegan meals because Devin is not vegan. Carly sit. Um, so, they get a good, like, mix of both of us. And when I cook, <laughs> the girls do not eat. Carly included does not eat. But, you know, Daddy cooks and, oh my, all about that. So... <laughs> We're trying on the vegetable department. You want to kiss? Oh, I love you too. I love you too. I love you too. 
What do you like to watch on TV? You watch T. You like Little Mermaid. You like Mermaid. Yeah, you like that movie, and you like Finding Dory. I find Dory. Yeah, you like that movie. Yeah. TV shows. She doesn't really watch a whole lot of because she just doesn't sit and watch TV a lot. Oh my gosh, I just noticed that Little Mermaid is in the TV. It's behind me. <laughs> like if she's watching it earlier, so sorry that it's back there. You um, watch the mermaid. And you watch the mermaid, yes, you do. Her favorite nursery rhyme is Patty Cake, Patty Cake, Baker's Man. Man. <laughs> she gets really excited over that particular one. I pie don't know cake, why. Patty Cake, Cake, Go Red. <laughs> Geeker's man, she says. I don't know if y'all heard that. I roll it up. And you roll it up. <laughs> and you throw it in a pan for Carly and me. <laughs> a big man. She's still stuck on that. <laughs> uh, as far as like new activities and experiences, we haven't really gone anywhere or done anything in the past year. Kosai last year was before her birthday. So, that doesn't really, <laughs> in my eyes, it doesn't really count as a new experience within the year because it was done before her second birthday. So, from second birthday to third birthday, there hasn't really been any... Oh, don't hit the camera, baby. Don't hit the camera. There really hasn't been any new experiences. However, in August, Dev and I are trying to plan a mini vacation type thing. Originally... The plan was that we were going to just take one weekend, uh, like Devin would come home from midnight shift and once he comes home then we immediately leave and we go to Columbus, Ohio and we uh, get a hotel and we just stay at the hotel that whole day because Devin just got off midnight shift, he's exhausted and um, we can just swim, me and the girls can just swim at the pool and order pizza and just hang out at the hotel that day Saturday we were gonna hang out in Columbus like go to the zoo and do other fun things in Columbus and then come home Sunday now <laughs> Devin all of a sudden wants to go to Washington DC which I would love because I've been wanting to go to DC for years I'm a huge history person especially American history I love that stuff so all of the free museums and stuff that you could do there oh I would be in heaven like how can you get bored in Washington DC but now I don't really know what Devin wants to do because now all of a sudden he wants to go to New York I I literally I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what he wants to do. And I'm kind of a perfectionist and I like to plan and I like to have a, okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to be at this hotel and we're going to do this and we're going to, I'm very much that person. And Devin being more spontaneous than I am is um, making me have a lot of anxiety right now. So as far as the vacation, new experience that Carly's going to have this year in August, I'll take a rain check on that and I'll get back with you guys when I know more because I want to book this hotel ASAP because the earlier you book the better rate you get so I'll just we'll see we'll see I will just stay tuned I'll get, I'll get back to that other fun facts about Carly because I'm pretty sure I've covered everything I I think Carly's best friend is Kinley <laughs> obviously. Um, she just loves her. First thing in the morning, that's who she wants to see, that's who she wants to play with. Kinley is her best friend. I can best friend. She is very much your typical three-year-old into everything, and I do mean everything, and it drives me absolutely up the wall. I know you see me smiling, but really on the inside, I'm just uh, going crazy. Like for instance, uh, I keep the refrigerator locked because if I don't, she will get into it and she will eat anything and everything. You could go into the kitchen next and there'd be mustard all over the floor or you could go in there and she's into who knows what. So I keep the refrigerator locked. Devin, however, is not as diligent as I am about keeping the refrigerator locked. So earlier... Carly got into the refrigerator, got into the big tub of whipped ice, of whipped topping that I had extra because I made a kind of pudding thing for her birthday because I'm the only vegan, so everybody else I had to feed. I had extra left over and she got into it 
and it was all over her and all over Kenley and the floor as well. So I had a nice whipped uh, topping mess to clean up earlier and that was that was real fun. Carly is very good about making messes for me to clean. <laughs> very good about that. Mommy, you will never ever have a day to relax because I will find something for you to do. Thank you, Carly. Carly also had her first ER visit this year. I didn't get to vlog this because I had spent all day that day trying to upload a different vlog. And I, I mean, if you guys have been subscribed to me for a while, you know that it takes me a little bit to upload. My internet is just not my best friend when it comes to uploading. So because I was trying to upload the other vlog, I didn't get to vlog this. But she um, had to go to the ER because Miss Carly over here has been told at least a hundred million times to stay out of our cabinet in our bathroom. I, mm, seriously, she she knows. She knows that she's not supposed to go in there. And she did. And she got into one of uh, Daddy's uh, razors that were zipped into a baggie and kept in the basket away from her reach. And she got into it anyway and unzipped it and sliced her finger open. It was this thumb, actually, wasn't it? Yeah, you can... It's, it's pretty much healed. Like, seriously, you have to look pretty hard. But it was this thumb. This is, this is new. <laughs> it was up here, and um, she sliced it pretty good. It would not stop bleeding. It bled through, I don't even know how many bandages. It was at least, at least three before we were like, we got to take her to the hospital. This is not stopping. This is kind of freaking us out. So we took her to the emergency room, and uh, she said, the doctor was like, well, it's not deep enough for stitches, but it is deep enough for some glue. So they put a little glue on her finger, and she said, don't let her pick at it or touch it. Just let it sit there for about a week, and it'll be fine. And of course, I mean, of course, Dev and I put bandages on it, and we tried really hard. And while we were sleeping, before we could get her up that morning, she woke up before us and just picked it to death. So, the glue was gone, but it's healed fine. I mean, seriously, you can't even see where, you can't really even see where she was cut anymore because it's healed. So, she's been healing just fine. And you did this on June 4th because I still have her little wrist bracelet thing from the ER. I kept that for her baby book, so I know. And it's, I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty yeah, healed. Yeah, that's pretty healed. So that was her little incident, and it totally freaked me out. I guess really the only thing I can think of to comment on that I haven't already tried to cover, um, Carly's looks. I haven't really talked about her looks or anything. I did a side-by-side -side on my social media, if you follow me on there, of uh, Carly at one, two, and three years old at her pictures. And the older she gets, I mean, of course, this is kind of common sense, but I mean, I'm going to say it anyway. It's like every year she like doubles the hair. <laughs> and when she was a baby, like a really little baby, like a year old and younger, she looked a lot like Devin. I mean, I could have sworn that she was his carbon copy, but the older that she's getting, the more she looks like me. <laughs> and everybody keeps saying that. Oh my gosh, she looks like you. And I'm like, yeah, she... She kind of does. I don't think she looks exactly like me. I have a very square face. Like, my jaw line is very square looking. It's kind of like this. Like, very, very square. Um, I have my dad's face shape. And hers isn't like that. But then again, my face shape didn't get like this until I hit puberty. So, my face shape when I was her age was very similar to that. Um, if you look at pictures of me when I was a kid and pictures of Carly... Uh, we're very similar, but this is out of my mom's mouth. My mom says all the time that uh, the only difference between my pictures and Carly's are I had a more petite face, and Carly's face, her features are a little bit uh, further apart, but that's pretty much it. Um, she's still a redhead, still very much. Can you, can you, can you do this? Here, here, look this way, look this way, see? Red hair. Very strawberry blonde, but Devin's hair was strawberry blonde when he was a really little kid. And his hair didn't turn brown until he hit puberty. So, uh, it was this color. I'm kind of hoping it stays that color. It's a very pretty strawberry blonde. And I really want it to stay that way. <laughs> I just hope it doesn't get darker and, and as it, she gets older. But it might. 
And that'll be okay. I'll love you anyway. I promise. I said you. I love you too. <laughs> I forgot to mention, that is Carly's other favorite thing to do. She tells me that she loves me at least 50 times a day. <laughs> and she She's always saying, I shush you, Mommy. It's not, I love you. It's, I shush you. Right? Right. How do you say, I love you? I said you. See, yeah. <laughs> I love you. I'm sorry, guys. She's melting down. Because I won't let her pick her nose. So, uh, I'm really sorry. I'm probably going to have to go now. I know. I'm terrible. I mean, it's awful. Can I say goodbye to everybody? Is that okay? Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody, she says. <laughs> if you want to follow me on social media, my links are down below. And I will see you guys later in a new vlog. Bye, guys.